Just testing the camera out so I can see myself in my iPad. Oh. So I'm just waiting for Maverick. That looks good. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna ask you some questions, Goose. Okay then, go on then. Ask me one. Is there any money involved if I get it right? What is zero add zero? Uh, I was expecting a maths question, but. Um, I'm not very good at maths, so I think it's one. Oh my god! What? <laughs> no, it's zero. Zero and zero is, zero is nothing, and zero is nothing, so zero. Okay then, I've got to ask you one then. Okay, what is, te what is ten times ten? Oh, that's easy. Twenty. What? Twenty. <laughs> no, it's 100, it's times. That's right, I hit 20. No, it's times. Oh, that well, equals that 100. Was 10 times 10 was 20, that's what I thought. Yes, I got a good question to ask ya. Go on then. <laughs> was your bum with that face, or did your mum slap it? Oh, for you, was my mate. I think I got dropped. I think they dropped me on my face <laughs> when I was born. <laughs> she dropped him on the face. Yeah, the the I think <laughs> what what when you're born, the slap they have to slap your yeah. bum a bit to make you cry. <laughs> but I think they slapped my face. A poor connection. Bye bye goose. What are you saying to our poo? Bye. He's not. Dear Trent. Bye goose. Bye. You dinosaur. I'll tell you what, there's some brilliant questions here. Oh, is there? Yeah, some really good ones. There's some saff ones, though. Yeah, most of them are saff, just like you. That's all right, then. I should be all right. Right, then. I'll just explain, then, just to the viewers, okay. what this is happening, what this is about. So we put up uh, on our Facebook group a question who we would like to interview in the Motorev team and it was a unanimous vote everyone picked Goose they wanted me to interview Goose so we got the man Goose here ready for his interview hello How are you nervous are you worried about it are you worried about any questions um nah I'm nah, worried about no fine. questions I'll just That's say what pass what we've got I can say pass <laughs> yeah, but I've got hold on, four pages of questions. But the only thing, I was, if I can't answer the question, I'll say pass, right? Okay. Well, if it's on masturbating, you'll have to wait till I finish. Okay, we will do. Won't take long now, will it? No. As I said, some of these are just a short, simple yes. answer question. So that'll be one of them. So are you ready for question number one? Go on then. You're going to tell me right, who's so that? I didn't put, put down the people's names who asked the question because okay. I've got that many messages coming in. So, right, question one. Here we go. For anybody that has never seen a motor of video, can you sum up what they will likely expect to see? Oh, that's easy. Just some middle-aged men um, having a laugh, a bit of banter, some nice scenery, and just a good laugh. Having a good crack. I think that's really um, that's all we do, don't we? We just mess about. We just mess about because we are not. We're just idiots. But you know, that's what we 
Yeah. I think we find it hard to be mature. That's our problem. Yeah, uh, that's it. My missus always says that I'm immature, but I have to agree uh, mm. agree with that on something. Yeah, right. All right, I'm ready. Question number two: If a car pulls out on you, do you shake your head? Give them two fingers, give them one finger, give them a hand shuffle, or all of them? Um, I usually swear, and I usually <laughs> raise my hand, but I don't give no bad signs, just in case it's like undercover police again, you know, because I've, uh, you know, you've got to be careful here. So I don't try, try to be gestures. too intimidating, but I just like do this and shake my head probably, yeah. That's what I do. So you just acknowledge they were in the wrong? Yeah, but if it's really, really bad, I think I'll have to give their wing mirror a bit of a slap. Yeah. I don't agree with that, Goose. That's, um, mm. that's aggressive behaviour. Yeah, well, very rare that's happened. I think I've, I've kicked a car once, that's all. Was you that in was it? When, that was when it was on top of me and I was trying <laughs> to push it off with my foot. <laughs> all right, um, next question. You ready? Yep. Is the Blue Suzuki Project bike finished? Uh, one second. Uh, no. I've got the handlebars. Oh, you went for bars. Oh, I'm just, it's a project for a reason. When I've got 10 minutes, I'll just get on it and do little bits. I'm on the chain at the moment, but it's. So, how much you got it. left on it, do you think? Oh, loads. <laughs> I've got quite a bit left on it. But some to think of. Hold on. Yeah, hold on a minute. I think I'm losing connection to you. I'm going to switch off. Let me end the video and just call you normally. Okay. Okay. Right, bear with me. Yeah. That's good. Oh my God. Hang on. I can hear one minute. Okay, yeah, that's better. So the cameras come off. One sec, one sec. I don't know if it is camera. The camera's come off. This is cutting. Hello? Yeah, you can hear. Yeah. I can hear you. Where did we get to? What was you doing? You were showing your blue rentals, weren't you? Yeah. So, what you got left then on the bike today? Loads. Got loads and loads. What's so at the minute? What? what what's... What's the what's the state of the bike? What's it look like? Um, it's got no fairing on. It's got no tank on. It's got the new chain. I'm just gonna put the chain, um, put the link back in, do that, and then once I've done that, put the cover back on the front um, cog, and then I think the next job is uh, the front wheel. I've done all the back wheel. I've done all the brakes. Uh, bled all the brakes. Put new pads in, nipples and all that stuff, stainless steel. Um, but I had trouble with one nut for the um, dog bounds. So I wanted to change the dog bounds on into some better one. I could not get this nut off, so I think I'm just going to put that one nut back on. And the one that couldn't come off, I'm just going to leave them. Because you can't really see them. It's just cosmetic, really. Like so. And then the front. I've got so all the front. There's nothing major then left to do, no, honest. No, nothing too bad. Uh, I think I need new headers, uh, to be honest. I need new headers because when I took the collector box... So what are you going to do, do with it then when it's done? Probably are you going to think of using no, it all? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to use it for a bit, for a, a month or so, and then I think I'm going to part exchange it against uh, another bike. But I'm still going to keep my bandit. So, yeah. Hmm, interesting. Yes. Okay, next one. The weird noises you come out with, have they been passed down through generations or have you got Tourette's? Uh, I think I might have undiagnosed Tourette's because I do it all the while. <laughs> I just do it randomly, even when there's nobody about. I do stupid, stupid things. Even the grandkids, I say things to them and they like start repeating it. So I have to be careful what I say because I do say some things which is not appropriate and then my grandson he says it a couple of times like while I've gone past at school and I've had to tell him don't say that do you know what I mean <laughs> so yeah I think the I thing have, is though, just, minute, it, 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 you know anyway you leave me come in down the corridor I don't care I just say things 
but I'd be careful at school. But it's it's rubbing off on the rest of us because we all start doing these stupid noises. I it? always say, if you say something enough, people will imitate you. Definitely, <laughs> I will. Okay, next one. So why do you have the name Goose? Um, because I think it was one of the videos we done. I don't know if it was it me and just me and you out. I'm not 100 percent sure because my memory's crap. Uh, now Viper was with us. Oh, was he? And then you pulled your. I think yeah. you pulled your your your, uh, your glasses down. Don't you? Be careful what you're going to say here now. And then you says I look like Maverick. If I recall it, now says yep. now you look like a. <laughs> and then he says, "I'm. I can be Maverick. You can be Goose because you're soft or something. It's something along them lines, I think." Yeah. And that's where it's. And it, it stuck ever since then, didn't it? Stuck. So we thought, well, if you've got that tag name, I've got Goose. We'll name um, Matt, Ice Matt, and Steve Viper. I should have been the Jack. The extras only the four of us then, really. weren't they? Oh no, but it's it's stuck it's stuck since then. Have you seen I've got a goose neck or something? That's after was that trend. Yeah, oh, I think I look like Maverick at a Top Gun. You look like a. Pr <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can be my wingman. Yeah, I can be. Uh, what was his name? Goose, or Goose. Yeah. Know what happened to him? No. Yeah. You've got a bit of a goose neck, haven't you? So. Uh... What do you think your next bike will be? Um, I think it would be like for this to afford, if a part takes that one when he's done, he's um, V Strom, I think, the thousand. Is it the, the thousand fifty or what, thousand cc V? So, so you're looking more, you're looking more into the touring adventure style. Yeah, yeah. I think it's more of a sit up. I don't know. Be, I don't like the crouching arm. That's. When I did you VFR 400, oh God, did you 400. sit on the V Strom at the bike show? I think you did, didn't you? Yeah, I sat on the new one. Yeah, last not last year, year before. Yeah, I sat on that one. The was a, a weird colour. I'm sure it was. Oh, it was, was that? Um, a I thought it was like a one, like a yellow colour, a bright, luminous, like yellow. Oh yeah, I think it was like a big bumblebee colour. Yeah. It did look a good colour. That did actually. It did look comfortable bike. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, I like I like Suzuki's. Okay, like. next one. What's yeah, your okay. best What's your best tour? Uh, uh, Normandy. I like Norm Normandy because that's the first time I've been at, like abroad on my bike on the other side. That, of the that road. was a no, maiden like voyage, wasn't it? Yeah, but I liked I like all of them we do because it's just it's nice to get out. Hey? Yeah. And for mental health, it's great to be on a motorbike. I tell you, that's great. It, it is well. now, and if, any, if anything, this year we need it more. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, Normandy was good. Yeah. So, and anything we do, I think, even days out, I enjoy, so... But I'll say Normandy, my favourite. Okay, right, next one. Yeah. How long have you known Maverick? Um... There. I don't know how long you worked at the school. <laughs> you don't even know, do you? Know. I've I worked know. there. It's Seven been years, eight... nine years, February. Oh. So, nine, nine years, years, February, you've known me. That's it, Dan. Nine years. Time yeah. flies, though, when you're enjoying yourself. Yeah. So I, can remember, I, can remember, I can actually remember first seeing and talking to you there, and I thought, you know, yeah. I knew then you I knew then you was an idiot. Yeah, well, I, well, I, I used to think, I'd oh, speak to you at first, if you re recall, I thought he's a bit of a nutbeat. <laughs> I mean, he wants to get an air cut in that, but... So, so we was both right then? Right. We was Pardon? both right then? I thought you was an idiot yeah. and you thought I was a knob. We, 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 yeah. we was both right. That's why we, we get on so good now, like brothers, I so... Yeah. Okay, you know, the next one. What have you been doing to keep yourself from going bonkers during lockdown? Oh, God. Well, I do loads of stuff in, oh, in the house. Oh, oh, I do loads of stuff. But well, whenever I speak to you, you're, you're doing something DIY. Yeah, it's always DIY. My house is like, freaking always need something doing to it. Like, my last project was I've just done um, built in wardrobes in my loft. I just seem to do, and uh, like in between the lockdown, if you know what I'm saying, Harry. Um, I'm saying, Harry. I've been doing my sons, I do work for them as well when I can. So, and 
Oh, it's only because I'm in the bubble, the childcare <laughs> bubble. I, can sort I think of you're the, the, the local Bob the Builder, aren't you? Yeah. You do it all. Plus, like, if anybody asks me, it's my, my biggest fault, I'd say, is I can't say no. I just like to help people. You okay, I mean? next. Where are you boring me now? I know, I'm boring myself. I fell asleep. Listen. Right, favourite drink and favourite meal? Oh, it's got to be um, Budweiser's all yep. day and a nice, well done steak. steak. Any steak. I love any steak. Actually, whenever we've been out, whatever two yeah. we've been on, or whenever we've been to a restaurant or whatever, that's the only thing I've ever seen you have is steak. I love steak. That's so I love it, man. Favourite meal. I have fancy it. I like, you know, when you could... Some people like the like prawns and and starters and now I'm just very basic like meat and two veg. So you, <laughs> so you, you, I, 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 like, I don't like veg that much to be honest. You don't like the two veg. You like just the meat. I just like a big piece of meat. You know what I'm saying, Harry? Okay, right. Mm. Favorite music. Uh, I like most genre of music, but I do like my favorite group has to be. ACDC. I'll say, yeah, you do listen to ACDC, don't you? Favourite film? Uh, I've got top three films, really, which is hard to decide. So I like The Fugitive. I I, I know what two of them are going to be. Go on. Go on, then. Uh, The Fugitive, (laughs) Harrison Ford. Yeah. That's one. Uh, Do you want to guess the other two? Uh, White Chicks. Um, that ain't my favourite, but it's got, it's up there in my top ten. Okay. Yeah, then. Ah, top so top now you've thrown me now. Yeah. What's yeah. that other one you was on about? Uh, Little Man, um, something like that. Little Man, yeah. I love comedy films, but to like I do, I am a bit serious now and again. I can be serious now and again. Um, the Green Mile. Oh, that's a good film, that is. And the Shawshank Redemption. Have you seen that? I don't think I've watched that all the way through, you know. I have seen oh, it, but I don't think I've sat and watched the whole thing. That's a great film. The Green Mile, yeah. though, that is a... That is a yeah, that's a I good do, film, that I is like it. Any comedy, I can watch any comedy films, anything, Dodge, you know, what is it, Dodgeball, Super Bad, anything like that. With Will Ferrell in or anything. Yeah. Okay, next. If you could only own two bikes for the rest of your life, what would they be? Uh, I'd be an Africa twin then I'd definitely have one of them yep. and my other one I'd just stick with my bandy because I, I would never get rid of it so, 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 you'd, so, you, so you'd keep the bike you've got the bandit and then you'd just have the Africa twin as an uh, additional bike yeah th- there's a reason I'd just keep my bandy because like uh, my wife bought it me so that's what I mean things. that was a um, yeah. it's like I a sentimental thing. value in it it was a present yeah, it was a present, so I'd, I says I'd never, ever get rid of it. I'd just keep it, no matter yeah. what. Okay, now this one, I had to, this next question, I had to read this a few <coughs> times. I didn't understand it. You might get it straight away. Well, yes, I might not. If you can't understand it, am I going to understand it? Right, okay, you ready? Are you old, golden black, or blue and white? Now, is oh, that referring yeah. to... Oh, no. Is that Wolverhampton or West Bromwich yeah. Albion Football Club? Is that what it is? That's what it means. I'm more blue and white. The only, it's only because my kids really, they have always been Albion supporters. So the um, gold and uh, black. So the old gold and black, that's um, Wolverhampton. That's Wolverhampton Wonders. Yeah, they call them Dingles. I don't know really what. Dingles. Ding- I'll, yeah, put a picture up. I'll put a picture up of each of them. Put more tops up, yeah. so you can see. But yeah, the, white, the only reason I got that the old gold and black, I didn't get that okay. bit. But when it said blue and white, because the wife and the father and yeah. all were Albion fans, and I thought, yeah, that, I thought that's got to be something to do with. Yeah, okay, yeah, there we go. That's answered that. So, what are your editing skills like? Um, on a scale of um, on the scale ten, of zero to minus one, of what? But what's your editing skills like from a zero to one? Minus zero, I've got none, to be honest. <laughs> I, I never do any, so... No, you you did have a go, didn't you? You had a go did at I? your grandson's football video, do you remember, on the iPad? Oh, yeah, but Tom... Oh, I don't know how you do it. That's off to you. I do not know how people 
edit these videos. Well, I've got patience, but not with stuff like that. No name. Okay. 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 What was your first bike? My first. Uh, what do you mean, road legal bike or bike? I just my first. Well, my first. Yeah, bike go, I ever give owned. give us both then. Give us your first bike you went on, and then your first like legal bike you used. My first bike I ever went on, which I have got a picture, which I'll send you as you can. Put yes, it. yeah, so I'll put it up. Uh, so what what bike is it? It was a Honda XR seventy five, a little scrambler, and I, I got that when I was about nine or ten, I think. Because I, I used to be um, a tumbler. People know. You used to be a what? A t they call it tumbler. I was a tumbler. Like, I used to be a gymnast. A oh, right, like, okay. So, yeah. Like, sports acrobatics, it was. So, I used to do well. Uh, won a few titles when I was young and when I carried on. So, that was when I won the nationals. I think I, it was in Milton Keynes or like a long time ago. My mum bought me. My, my dad bought me my first motorbike. Which was like I think my my brothers was a bit je <laughs> was a bit jealous like, and they always say you were spoiled and blah blah blah. But that's what got me off onto motorbikes. And then because we lived by the canal on Friar Park, um, there was some wasteland we used to ride on, and that. And then it was we'd ride everybody else's bike. There was I think YZ eighties, the old C fifties, under C fifties. I'd say old. That's still Meccan. C90s. Yeah, yeah they do, don't they? Free up. We used to be free up, going down the canal. But my first bike, which I actually had on the road, road legal, when I was 16, and you might laugh, but it was an, uh, a Vespa. A Vespa? Yeah. Is this the one you had? Um, did you did you change the engine in it? Yeah, I changed it because it's uh, exactly the same. It was just a bolt through. So I put a 90, a 90 engine in it. Yeah, and it was for a 50. I used to get like, I suppose I was sort of like a, one of these scooter boys. Or anything with wheels, I liked anyway. But uh, I had a few of these rockers who used to try and race me on the Yamaha FS1 E's. Yeah. And I could I could beat them. But, but I always wondered why, because it, like, it says 50 on it. But it was, uh, was being a bit dodgy. So you had a tuned super engine in it. I don't have a tune, I just took it out of a 90, but somebody was getting rid of it, so I just slapped it in. <laughs> okay, next, ready? Yeah. What year did you pass your bike test? Can you remember? Oh, I can't remember what I done last week, never mind, it's been all them years ago. I think it was... 90... But I'm just guessing now. It could have been about 94. I, might, I was 94 when I did mine, 94. Was you 94? And I might have been yeah. a bit before that then. Because I was... Let me think. Might, oh, no, was, actually, sorry. It was before that. It 54. Was 19, it was before 94. It was about 1991, <laughs> I think. <laughs> about 1900. <laughs> 1991. A bit before you, I think. 1991. Yeah. yeah, I was 94 when I did mine. I was 19. Yeah, I was ni 91, early 90s, I think. Like, okay. actually passed my bike test. Yeah. What's your real name and where do you come from? Do you want my full name like, and my middle names? Yeah, go on then. Give us right. the whole lot. My first name is Richard. Second name is Ernest. No Ernest. Latin. Then Lee. Then Owen. And so I Richard, from... Ernest, Lee, Owen. Yeah. And I come from, uh, I was born in West Bromwich, and then when I, I think I lived on Stone Cross in West Bromwich, then moved to Friar Park, and we was free, so, and I was there. So what, like, for those who don't know, what, what part of the country is that? Is that all that the black country the area? West, the black country, the West Midlands. Black country, Wednesday. the West Midlands, okay. Yeah. Right, back in the day... Right. Who floated your boat? I.e. Debbie Harry, Kate Bush. Oh God, that's easy. Was there a famous singer or artist or something floated your boat when you was a teenager? Oh dear, that's, I mean, you've only got to mention Bush. I, yeah, I love a bit of Bush, so it's <laughs> Kate Bush. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, but you know what I mean. Um, I'd say it was Madonna. Madonna. And Kylie Minogue. 
Love. Yeah, I, 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 I like Kylie Minogue when I was young. I like a big Kylie Minogue. She's only about three foot two. She's you know, just tiny. Like that. My brother actually okay. seen her at um, one of the service stations. It's tiny. <laughs> what in a in a black country? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, he's a lorry driver, and he actually he must have been in this country. Obviously, he's going back some years back when she used to do a tour in and concerts, and he actually seen her with the bodyguards or whatever. Yeah, she's at the one of the service stations. Ah, I see. You never know, do you? You know. Okay, here's, here's a, a serious question for you. Okay. Do you dress to the left or to the right? Hang on. Right. <laughs> Hang on. It's. Oh. It's just in my left sock, so. <laughs> left. Left. Yeah. What did What did I yes. stand on it? Well, you know, I've, I've tripped on it a few times. Right, well, okay. Right, well, so we've established that. Right, next. Dead or alive, name two people you would like to have a conversation with on your pack talk whilst on a tour. Oh, um, So, any two people. First one would be my dad, because yeah. obviously he's passed away. Um, second one would be Freddie Mercury, because he's awesome. Love do you think they'd would, would it be a good conversation with the two of them at the same time oh no, <laughs> no definitely not okay we'll leave that there then okay we'll leave, it, right. leave it there yeah i'll tell you off again you know what <laughs> right okay next right name a country you would love to tour um I mean, I do like France, and uh, but I'd do anything. Spain, up in the mountains, Picos 8, all that stuff, whatever. Yeah, okay, anything. then. Let's, 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 let's change that round. Is there anywhere you would not want to tour? Is there any country, like you've sit on the team and you're thinking, geez, I wouldn't want to go there? Um, Obviously, you know, not taking into, you know, countries where they're like in war zones at the middle, uh, at the minute, yeah. but is there any other country no. that's never taken your fancy? Uh, not really. I'd, I'd, I'd go anywhere to be honest. I'd, I'd like to, as long as the roads are there and it's nice and there's lots of scenery. I'd go anywhere. So you'd just I'm be happy with anywhere outside it. the West Midlands, wouldn't you? To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, oh, yeah, you're happy with Worcester, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I, well, that's the scenery for me. I eh? living around here. But, it is. You know, but that's like a problem with, with us. Nice with us city living folk, always get to see these great buildings. Okay, next. Have you any camping tips or advice? Uh, camping tips yet yeah. get a good oh, no. warm sleeping bag and a hot water bottle and an eater if you've got an electrical cup because that's what and I'm that's in, and that's in the so summer the you're talking isn't it yeah but, you know <laughs> definitely I feel the cold so yeah you don't like the you cold to, do you you need to be warm no. yeah you need to be warm that's it that's my tip but it is actually I mean it makes sense because I said if you're out on tour and you know even if you know, it might be warm weather, but even if it's raining and you've got wet, once you've got wet, if you've got nowhere yeah, warm to yeah. go overnight, you've got no chance of warming up. The first time we yeah. camped, remember that? Oh, my oh gosh. that was uh, a Aberystwyth, wasn't it? Yeah, the three of us saw it, me, you, Matt. Oh my god! That's when uh, you went. You, you, tell everybody what you went to bed in that night. The first night we got there, you was cold, wasn't you? I slept in my leathers. Yep. Yeah, so you had your boots Four on. Leathers. <laughs> Did you have your boots on? Uh, no, yeah, that, 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 yeah. So you had yeah, the leather trousers actually, on. Did you have your? Did you leave your bike jacket on? Yeah, bike jacket on and everything. Just left it. Oh, my heated vest. Did I have my heated vest on? I'm just trying to find. Uh, now would I have my heated vest? Nah. On? It was after that <coughs> yeah. that weekend is when you invested in the heated vest. Yeah, I think it was. Ooh. So, so your bit of advice then for camping. If it's cold mm. and you haven't got a heater or not water bottle, just leave all your, leave, your gear leave on. Leave all your clothes on. Yep, helmet, Why boots, not? gloves, everything. Everything. Okay, everything. right, here we go. Next question. Apart from your own, whose bike in Motorev do you like the most? Um, I like Albi's bike. Albi's. It's a nice looking bike, that is, isn't it? Yeah. But, but I, I like any bike, to be honest. I really... I don't have any bikes that I don't like. As long as it, I'll ride anything, mate. Like bike wise. 
Okay, next. Who rides the most in Motorev? Um, I would say <laughs> probably you. <laughs> I don't know. Because no, whenever you think... look, Bear's always out on his bike, isn't he? Um, Bear, whenever you look in the WhatsApp group, he's always oh, put like yeah, 40, 48 videos a night yeah. of him going around Lancashire and that. Oh yeah, probably Bear then. So he does, um, he does cover some more, he does better, okay. Um, who rides yeah. the least in Motorev? Um, that could be Matt. That's Iceman due to wear commitments, isn't he? Yeah, he's a... Do you think anybody else? He's a, he's a, he's a busy fellow, isn't he? Yeah, that's. I'd say he rides at least. That's, okay, yeah. next. Is there a riding skill you wish you were better at? Um, Is there anything you know you, you lack confidence in on the bike? Is a particular area? No, not really. I think I'd like to be able to do a better wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> but I, obviously, that I have skill is it really to. You mean you'd like to be able, you'd like to be able to do one under control and not when you're not meant to do it? Exactly. I mean, you can get the end like mine up, but whether you're going to be safe on it, it's another that's thing. It, yeah, that's it. That's so it. I tend not to do wheelies, so. but I'd like to get to wheelie school and have a go on that wheelie. School I think uh, Vi Viper did that. Went to wheelie school. Yeah, he did actually. Yeah. He set it on. Yeah, I good. think. I think he went with Prince, um, Prince Harry and William to that. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. Actually, that's Happy what we day. could do with Viper, couldn't we? We could ask him about this um, this Harry yeah, interview. Because yeah, obviously, you know, he's the ins inside yeah. information. Well, he goes to there for dinner, doesn't he? So he'd know. Mm. Right. We'll ask him. Okay. Right. This next question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a good one. This yeah. is. Right. Are you ready for this? Oh God, it's going to be one stupid one. Oh, it is right. Okay. If Motorway come to you and said hmm. he really has slept with an horse in a passionate way, yeah, would you support him and keep his secret safe, or would you tell the rest of the group that at the first chance you had? Oh, what do you think I'd do? I would be telling everybody. <laughs> so you it'd be know, all over WhatsApp, wouldn't it? He needs locking up, mate. Oh my God. <laughs> That would be, but he ain't actually done it yet, has he? <laughs> no, but well, as far as we know. Well, we ain't heard nothing, so. You know, he hasn't. Um, you'll, you'll hear him anyway. Well, all we know at the moment, he hasn't been convicted of it. He hasn't been caught yet. That's no, he's just been charged. <laughs> no, only, one, only no. joking, Vic. Vic, we are okay. joking. Oh, well, okay, we've done this question hold on a minute okay let's try this one who does the video editing who does the video editing in Motorev Maverick me okay okay yeah. what's your favourite you Motorev no, do you know that no I've just learnt no. it no. so it's not what you know it's who you know exactly alright next one what's your favourite Motorev video Um, I think I think I know the which one, one you're going to say. You know which one I'm going to say, but I, was it the one when we went to the more, the one where that I was done Morven the, again? Uh, yeah, Morven. <laughs> that's where that's you did the favorite. the prostate joke, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the one. I'll but tell you what, I'll laugh so much. Oh no, I'll, 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 I'll put that clip up now of that little joke. Goose got yeah, wrong. I mean, it just was so wrong. Because right? the thing is, see when. None of these jokes are rehearsed, what Goose does, but sometimes but just come out Goose wrong, gets but... gets the joke completely wrong, and then you always say, cut it out, I'll do it again. But I never, <laughs> ever, I never, ever edit the bit where he's done it right, so I will always leave the one and he's no. got wrong, and this is one of them, so I'll put that up now. Yeah. The doctor says, you know what I'm going to have to do, don't you? I said, I'm going to have to check it internally, because I was like, I've got piles to, to cut a long story short. Oh. And, um... He says, "Get on the desk." On the desk. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong. That was the get wrong. The that was the wrong visit. <laughs> no, he says, "Get on the bed." <laughs> edit, edit that one. He says, <laughs> that was the dentist. <laughs> he says, uh, "Well, I nearly crashed then." He says, "Get on the." He says, "Get on the couch or whatever you call it." <laughs> get him wet. 
And he says, oh, yeah. <laughs> Get on the couch. <laughs> you know, the doctors, oh, oh God. Whatever. Oh, start again. Well, he says, get on the bed. That's better. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> get in the bed. Right, OK, then. Next question. Who farts the most in the team? I would say... I'd say you. I, I, I'd agree with that. Yeah, I'd like him always doing it, even at work. Can I say that? That's off? probably why I'm saying you, because I'm round you more hours and you're yeah. always doing it. Like, I come into your office, <laughs> and then all of a sudden you let one go, and it's absolutely I'm rotten. Yeah, I've got to say, when, you, when you're all... Fly you... off a, <laughs> you're not going to fly off a bucket of shit, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, I've got to say, I can notice sometimes when you always get bloodshot when you walk in my office. I can actually chew on it, <laughs> taste the meat in it. All right, then, next one. If you could feature on any other channel as a guest, which channel would you like to be on? Um, I would like to go with the military biker. Military biker. Canada. What would you, is it Canada? Yeah, would you, is that what you'd like to do, which you'd like to be over there? Yeah. Okay, so so Steve, military boy, Steve, when you're watching this, can I ask a question? What, like, you know, I need to ask this question, and what you'll probably it? know it. Go on, then. It involves uh, the military biker, actually. Okay. Because you know his actual name. Can I say it? Yeah. Like, is his name Steve Cannon? Yeah. I just think that's like. What a name. And you mean the military with like a cannon on the end of it? Yeah. You know? I don't know. He's a tank commander and his name's Cannon. You know, it's my name. Calm down, calm down. That's my bit of an accent he likes that. But, you know, yeah, so what we'll do then, Mr. Steve Cannon, the military boycott, if you could pay yeah. for <laughs> flights for Goose to come over and he'll appear oh, on your yeah. channel for you. Oh, yeah. Okay? You and him can go around the Rockies. You can let him. The actually, Rockies. you know, that'd be a brilliant video if he let you drive a tank. Just about ride a bike, mate. You, you imagine it. Tank. Okay, next one. Ready? If you could yeah. pick your own nickname, what would it be? Um, so, uh, although we all know you as Goose, have you got another yeah. nickname already? What you would have had from school? Um, no, I don't f oh, yeah, I have got a few names that the kids call me, like uh, Mr. Tumble, they call me. <laughs> Mr. Like, Tumble. It must be somebody on the BBC show who's a bit of a nutter a bit like me who acts stupid around the kids so yeah but my wife will just she's got one for me and it's dickhead dickhead yeah I've heard her call you that a few times that's ooh, hundreds of times because so. I think your grandkids I that's they start calling you now Grandad Goose don't they yeah Grandad Goose yeah that's what they call me Grandad Goose yeah. okay here's another one for you then to do with your name okay. do you prefer Dick or being called rich? Um, well, if you ask my wife that, she will say um, she prefers Richard because she don't like dick. <laughs> That's what she does. But I ain't bothered. <laughs> my dad used to call me Dicky Mint. I don't know why. He used to call you what? Dicky what? Dicky Mint. Dicky Mint. Yeah, but I don't know why he called me Dicky Mint. I don't know if there's something out there, but there's a program with somebody. I don't know whether it could have been uh, the Benny Hill show. I could be wrong, and there was somebody on there called Dicky Mint. That's going back know, a few actually. years. I can remember Benny Hill, but, but I Dickie can't. Mint. Dicky Mint. Mint. Mm. Okay, nice next. Does Piggy scare you? No. I like Piggy. My, actually, my... my my grandson, he says to me today, he says, uh, what are you doing, Grandad, after I says, oh, I've got Christ, go do an interview with me because some people want to know some probably stupid facts about me. Um, but but um, he says, uh, can you tell Piggy and Pablo I love their names? That's what he says. <laughs> yeah. Piggy and Pablo. Yeah, Piggy does scare me. Right. I say it's, um, he's a big guy, though, Eddie. He's a big, he's a big bloke. Yeah, you know what to say. You know what to say, oh. Piggy. <coughs> the order the fall eight. Yes, yeah. come on. But now he's doing, he's, um, he's a big gent. Yeah, but, it is, Piggy. Uh, to be honest, there's, I think there's, there's fair teen in the group and they're more sad yeah. as a parent. We've got a good balance, haven't we? Like, 
Yeah, we, like we've met friends. So this was just um, what we'd done was just some. We both like bikes. Mm-hmm. We decided to go out together, and then it's just gone from there. We've met loads of friends on the way as well. So we like built it. it as we went along. Okay, favorite bike-related YouTuber. Um, so your favorite bike-related YouTube channel or YouTuber. <laughs> I do like, which I do watch quite a bit, of Dad and Mad, or is it Mad yeah. and Dad, whichever one. That's why I'll, I'll watch that quite a lot. Dad because I'm loud to see, that's probably yeah. why. But I do watch... Um, it's probably because you're the only one who can understand them, and they can understand you. Yeah, yeah but I do, they, they're the one I'd say I watch the most. Um, I watch... Um, I watch Mouse, Missenden Flyer, Wild Bad, um, Teapot... Um, I've watched a few different ones but like with me it's time more than anything yeah because the thing is at the end of the day there's that many channels out there you you physically can't watch them all I think I've watched is it the Gorilla Biker yeah I've watched a few like uh, Military Biker obviously Um, yeah I've watched quite a few different ones to be honest I've watched um, Minister oh uh, Minister Motorblocks yeah, yeah, watch, I just watch random ones, so I got like a one I watch, but Dad and Mad would say he's yes. the one I that's, that's, that's the one you mainly follow, Dad and Mad. Yeah, I'd say I'd follow them ones more yep. than, than anybody else, to be honest. Okay, what jobs have you had since leaving school? Uh, so, when I left school, I started on an apprenticeship, um, Sandwell Training Association, and I'd done um, painter and decorator for two years um, got qualified painter and decorator and then I went into foundry because it was where the money was so I'd done um, five years in the foundry then I got made redundant then I was off for about 18 months and then I went to be a crane sling they call them slinger a slinger is where you pick like lungs big lengths of steel up and you have to get to the machines like crane driver internal crane yep. driver and then I worked on the machine there for a bit and then uh, I had a bit of time off from I got I asked for my redundancy for like personal reasons and I'd done uh, I think seven years off or eight years off and then I started working at school there. and then from then it's that's where I've been since from, from then it's gone downhill <laughs> yeah, next one what's your favourite holiday destination with the family what's your favourite place um, you'd like to go you all know this, but not many people will. Tenerife. Tenerife. I love Tenerife because mm. it's always hot. Guaranteed the weather. And I've probably been about 20 odd times. I said the one year. I, th- I think I think you was in Tenerife more than you was in the UK one year. Yeah, I think every every holiday we got, we was. I think I've done four four times. But we like to go like um, five star, so an all inclusive. Yeah. So you like to be treated like we, a king. Yeah, that's the only time, so... Yeah. You've got to make the master of You have. OK, so. what's your dream job? My dream job? So, yeah, regardless of uh, the money, like... Not just a job because it pays money. What job would you like to do? You know, considering well, you're going to be honest, spending eight hours a day, five days a week. What would I'd be your dream like job? So- Obviously, I'd like to work with motorbikes, but really, there's nothing out there that you could, like... Like, money money wise I mean if I was like if I'd got money I was like millionaire or something I'd still have to do something with motorbikes yeah. like a cafe with a you know valeting on the side yeah. a little workshop like on that. the That's side what like. a what? a little workshop on the side yeah like you know we're riding when they can come and have a coffee and just just stupid if I yes, won but- money put it this way I suppose but, in that situation, I said it'd be a hobby, wouldn't it? Because you wouldn't need to yeah, earn money would. from it. But okay, then let's go back to a job then, a proper job. Um, I think I'd like to work with um, disadvantaged kids. I think, like, like, like how they do it at school, Senko, but like on a bigger scale with more. Yeah. You know, that's just. Me. If you could have a superpower, yeah. what would it be? Invisibility. Invisibility. I'd love to be invisible. Oh my god! Just think what you could do. Where you could <laughs> like, go. Come on then. Like, like, like what? What would you do? Uh, I can't really say some stuff. 
I'll get myself in trouble on camera. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. I would just... <laughs> of course. It'd be, it, it'd be fun though, wouldn't it, just to wind people up. Oh yeah, move things like yeah. around the offices and stuff. Oh yeah, did you know me? I'm like a pranker anyway. I says pranker. You, you know what? Oh. Pranker. I'm probably one of them as well to a lot of people. But, but yeah, I'd like to be invisible. Because, I, I mean, you could say, oh, I want to live forever and all that, but no, no weapon, does it? No, take right. no weapon. Invisibility. Yeah. Well, you know, That's I suppose good. if you just keep annoying the wife so she don't talk to you, eventually you will become invisible. <laughs> I'm like that anyway. You don't speak to me most <laughs> of the time anyway. This one's a good one. If you got to go back in time to a single event and change what happened, what event mm -hmm. would you change? So, you know, that, this could be anything big, any, something personal. So if you could go back in time to one event and you could change what happened in that event, is there anything you would change? Mm, no. Well, there is an event, but I wouldn't change because it's made me, like, different like, to who I am now. So okay. there is an event, but I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change nothing about okay. it. I spoke about this to my wife. Uh, the other week and uh, she says would you change anything I says no I'd do it all again like whatever's happened I would do it all the same because I think if you could do that then you don't get to fight like yeah just... you wouldn't be where you are now would you it be no it changes just some of the things that happen in life and I think it's there for a reason to be everything's for a reason isn't it? okay next one then yeah. similar question if you could step into the future and decide one thing Motorev will do, what would it be? What the will do? Yeah, so you can go to the future and decide one thing we're going to do or we're going to achieve as a group. What, what, would, what, what do you want us to do? Uh, well, just keep on doing what we do. Have a laugh. There's no, there's no like, airs and graces to Motorev. No. Well, there is. There's a couple of airs and, and graces, and that's Viper because he's so posh. <laughs> but as long as we go out, enjoy ourselves, everybody's that's safe. It, it? Nobody gets hurt. That's it. That's and we enjoy keeping it together. And we, keeping it, no keeping arguments. it as it is, isn't it? Keeping it real. Yeah, I mean, we all get on. There's no like bitchiness or anybody saying this and saying that. If anybody says anything like I don't agree with anything, that's it. We just take it on yeah. board, and you know. But I don't think there, there would be anyway. And nobody yeah. me. The problem we is though, is this, I mean, even in our WhatsApp groups. There's never time for us to be serious with one another. It's just banter no. constantly. Yeah, we have some yeah. pure Vic. And I think, I think that's the good thing with us, and it is. I think that's what's worked yeah. and what's gelled with us, is that we can all give it and we can all take it, because if you yeah. couldn't, oh, you know, we, we, you could easily get offended, yeah. easily. If anybody couldn't take it in the group, I mean, yeah. nobody is malicious. We don't take the mick out of, like, how people look, so if you know what I'm trying to say, like it's nothing like that. I mean, it's just a bit of banter. Things will happen. We take a pee out of, you know, like Vic. Yeah. With the old situation. Mm. But mean, saying that though, I mean, at the end of the day, Goose, we couldn't be held accountable for that because it's not just us taking yeah. the mickey out of that. He's got the entire, um, yeah. the entire so followers of Motor have joined in on that. Everybody <laughs> actually is <laughs> mentions it about Vic. Oh, no. And I mean, Vicky's sounds a pound, eh? But yeah. I think we've created something with Vic that's yeah. just going to keep going on about anything. But it is, I mean, I mean it's, it just it, it constantly just creates laughter, doesn't it? We, mm. all, we all still laugh about it. Yeah. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. For those who don't know the story of mm. Vic Motorway yeah. and the horse, I'll, I'll put a clip up now of what happened. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, <laughs> the baby. Ah. <laughs> uh, don't want, don't want you, Vic. Yeah, well, he ain't having me. <laughs> He's gonna have a rub on your bike. <laughs> he is as well. <laughs> watch, watch it, how knock your bike. Yeah, nice, nice. Uh, Whoa. Did it grab me? He's got a shot. I'm funny. laughing now, I won't be laughing if my bike goes over. He's f***ed up in his <laughs> he fucked on me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we started one like that instead of this big thing. Save me the money, save me the money, shit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ik wil daar niet spijt. We gaan de kast in een minuut. Heb je got any Heb je got any gas in here for goose? Oh, oh. Zijn we de fallen through en je doet het like een pebble dash in de back of his pocket? I tell you what, I don't come home on the back of your bike, I think. The thing is, it wasn't just that, was it? It had to scratch its ass on me top yeah. boss first. He's ready to blow already. <laughs> Oh, but if he'd have shot, it would have been even better. <laughs> You'd have gone all out with you. <laughs> trust, trust me to find the any horse with an itchy arse. Oh. Has it dried off yet? <laughs> no, still dripping a bit. <laughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> I've got horse arse all over my top box here. It's part of his top box, look. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> well, I'd say it was one of the best yeah, I've, laughs I've ever I had. think it's probably the only time on my bike I think oh, I've nearly crashed that. every 10 yeah. seconds as I was riding it. I couldn't even oh, hold the handlebars, it, it was absolutely killing me. Yeah, okay, here we go, next one. Okay. Hold on, let me read this. Okay. Yeah. If ever you went on tour and you had to mm. be another member of Motorev for one day, who would you be mm -hmm. and why? So on a tour um, then, so if you had to swap places with somebody on the tour, yeah. who would you pick to swap with? Uh, some good well, questions these, person. aren't they? Yeah, I these know. are some good questions. Be that person, to be honest, I'd swap with anybody on the tour yeah. because they're all sound. Yeah. So that's, that's what it, I, it, yeah, it's... I couldn't single nobody out and say, I'd like yeah. to be Albi, I'd like to be Pab oh. Escobar, whatever. I'd, of course, I'd, yeah, when I'd I read this be... question back yeah, earlier, I was struggling. Oh. The same, yeah. I was struggling to answer that. I'd happy to be anybody because we're more... Mm. Like, Sort of I suppose it'd be nice, though, wouldn't it? I suppose just for one day to be in Viper shoes and just see what his, oh, yeah. his, his 18 bedrooms, like yeah. what his mansion's like and, and all that. It'd be nice, just, but you know what? We, I know we do take the mick out of Steve, yeah. but you know what? He, we say he's, but he, he ain't like tight, he ain't tight yeah. or anything, or, you know what I mean? So, because when you're in the He's just off, a multi millionaire. <laughs> he's probably got a big massive bank balance but he's still a sound guy yeah. money ain't affected him has he no, no. I know we ain't seen him for ages like, but yeah, but he's busy, busy <laughs> with the Queen and that I mean you know come on <laughs> Philip went well you know he's um... yeah but you know what fair play I'll never have money because I'm stupid with money oh, no. ready for the last question go on then right I've, I've written this last question who done this one me, this one's from me. Oh, cool. The last cool. question. Okay. If we'd never met and we never started Motorev, what do you think you'd be yeah. doing now? Uh, and this is straight up question now. I'd probably go out on my motor bike once a year. That's it. I wouldn't probably have the motivation mm. to go get up and go out because, like I say, now I've met you and we've done these um, tours. Right, you've given me summer to like look forward to, to be honest. Because it is, I mean, cause, I mean yeah, I'm supposed I to be, yeah, I'm supposed to be just on your own on a bike. I suppose it's Boy. it's it's easier not to go out than to talk yeah. yourself into going out for the ride. Yeah, and that's why I said, like, because we've met and we sort of got. It. If I hadn't have met you and we got into the bike situation, I'd have probably still gone out on my bike, but mm. I would not have done what I'm doing, and that is hundred percent. Oh, thank you for that, sir. So, oh, is there yeah. anything? That's it. That's the end of the questions. That's the end no. of the interview. No, so, no, is there anything you'd that. like to add or or say? Not or really? is there anybody I mean, else? I, have, I mean, I think we ought to do an interview with you next, and an I'll interview. be asking you the questions. So, I okay. need. But I'm, you know, what I'm like on Facebook. Right. I'll, so I'll, I'll set that up then. I'll set it up. You set it up so they can yep. send the questions. I'll, I'll just yeah, I'll get I'll, I'll get them to send you the, the questions into yeah, your, your Facebook Messenger. That, and then we'll do one of you and then and we can once we've done one of you we can do one of someone else. Yeah. But that's that's so, what I was just so. gonna say is who do you think we should do next? So um, I think you, at some point we do need to get motorway on camera and to answer some of these animal questions people oh, think, keep asking. Yeah. I think Vic after you. 
yeah, we need to get the truth but out there. Is, don't there, we? there is a few things like when people like when we meet up, they might say, "What did you say on camera that changed you?" Then I'll tell them like some <laughs> of the stuff that really don't want to be broadcasting it on. Uh, there is well goose it's been a pleasure talking to you yes and you sir i'll see i'll see you in the morning at work <laughs> yeah i bring the uh, memory cards yeah. so yeah don't forget to bring uh, the memory cards in so i can get those edited oh yeah so, no, there so was some um, there was some some very interesting yeah. questions there actually to be honest with you mm. considering it was you we was interviewing i did expect a lot more stupid questions well i can be serious yeah sometimes. that's what i mean so i think you know maybe you know. that's it people wanted to know some some serious yeah, a, stuff about the gooster. Yeah, I am like 90% stupid and I'll have a laugh, but sometimes sorry, I have to cramp up. I'm hot in here because I've got the again. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm sweating here. I've got the back door open. <sighs> oh, okay, then, so here. just before we go, then, mm -hmm. everyone loves your jokes. Have you got a joke? Well, actually. No, that's it. Just before you do <laughs> that, you know what? You probably will be right. I don't think I mentioned but, at the beginning that you, I did not show you any of these questions beforehand. No, so you had no, no idea about these questions. No. Actually, I just no. wanted to clear that bit up. I thought in case somebody well, anyway, thought I'd already passed a, them to you. Here's a little sort of a joke. If it goes to plan, it might okay. be all right. So in other words, then I'm not I'm not going to edit this out. Then it's going to go I'm in as it is. I'll tell you this silly little joke and then I'll tell you another silly little one which a kid told me. Okay. <laughs> you like that one? Um, what, and this is uh, the last one I'm going to finish. Of course, this one tickles me and I know it's the most <laughs> stupidest joke you'll ever hear in your life. What do you call a man? <laughs> Come on, no, let's no, get it right. I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. What do you call a man with no sheen? That's sheen. S H I N. A man with no sheen. No sheen. Like this part. Hang on. This part's your sheen. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one of my favourite stupid jokes, that is. I've got loads, but you know. I can't say anything. Tony. Anyone, uh, oh. On that note. Yeah. It, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. Oof. See you later, man. See you around to uh, That's it. We're done. Inter <laughs> inter interview's <laughs> over. I'm sweating. Did you like I'll tell that, you what. that was a good one, that one was, actually. Did, did you like that one? That was a good one. Yeah. Like that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, it, it's even better when you have to do that bit. When you have to stop to actually think of the joke yourself. I have to think of them sometimes. My memory's chronic, man. <laughs> oh, right, I'm going because I'm sweating like a beast. Oh, I am. I'm sweating. I'm, I need to go and have a bath or a shower now. Oh, no. I'm sweating like a kebab. Right, so, yeah, bring your memory cards in tomorrow. I'll bring the two in. Yeah. I'm just looking at myself in the big video because I'm like acting sap for it. Big joke also, man. So oh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah, I'll, uh, see you later. Right, see you yeah. morning. Cheers. See ya. Bye. Bye. Drop. Drop. Fucking now. Sweating. Oi, oi, yeah, <coughs> latest.